So, the Nioia Inoue versus Paul Butler fight has just finished, and Inoue has stopped Paul Butler in the 11th round in a fight where Inoue pretty much controlled the whole fight. Um, Paul Butler didn't really open up with very much offense, and when he did, he reverted back to his defensive shell immediately. And uh, it just seemed like he was there just to survive and go the distance. Um, never looked like he really tried to, you know, push a pace on Inouye or try anything different. He just kind of stayed in a defensive shell for basically the whole fight. And anyway, you know, tried every tactic to get Paul Butler to open up. He, you know, stuck his chin out. He even put his hands behind his back at one point. Kind of did a Roy Jones impression. He backed himself up against the ropes in this sequence right here. He did everything to get Paul Butler to open up. And Paul Butler just was never going to open up on in a way. And um the finishing sequence was um kind of like where in a way has kind of caught Paul Butler's rhythm in the fight. And uh he's now figured out that uh he has to, you know, use a lot of his speed. It seems like, you know, um power, Paul Butler's pretty good at absorbing, you know, the one, two shots from Inoue, but um when Inoue put everything together, he found the kill shot and, you know, Paul Butler as soon as he went down, it, it was just over. You know, he kind of accepted defeat. It seemed like he accepted defeat as soon as the bell rang. And um, I thought maybe after the first round or two, you know, after, you know, the jitters kind of settled, Paul Butler would kind of maybe make a stand at some point in the fifth or sixth round if it went that far. But he just never did that. And um, he just stayed in his defensive shell and never really opened up and tried to get in a way's attention with any, you know, power shots or anything. And with, you know, 15 KOs, it's just, um, he does have a little bit of pop on his shots, but he just never really, you know, tried anything. He kind of just did nothing for the whole fight. And in a way, tried his best to get him to open up and he did everything. Um, in a way, made it a very entertaining fight, even though Paul Butler did nothing. It was like a one man show. So now Inouye is the undisputed champion at bantamweight. Uh, this is a great achievement for him. And um, when he moves up to the 122-pound division, hopefully soon and fights Stephen Fulton, it should be a good fight. I'm, inter I'm interested to hear what you guys think of Inouye's performance. And do you think he can beat Stephen Fulton at 122 pounds, you know, moving up and fighting out of a weight class that isn't his natural weight. This is the Space Cowboy, and thank you.